answers there to questions. Um, thank you first. And um, um, it, the, I composed the songs, you know, over quite a, a long period of time. Um, but when Knox and I wrote songs together, um, we would always, we'd start in the morning and by the end of the day always have something, even if it wasn't a completed song. Um, because we wanted to make uh, write songs that were expressed feelings and um, emotions and and like um, that were not too thought about, not too much, not too much thinking about the technique when we first started writing together, but more expressing feelings. Even if there was no um, like structured chorus or a, a, a proper arrangement that we knew later we could address that and it was more about getting the idea down and something that happened um, sometimes very spontaneously. Um, so, okay. yeah. Um, so yeah, it took about the writing, sorry, the writing, sorry, was probably over the course of about a year and then a bit more as well after that because um, during that time um, after that, started to work on. I started to work on Exciter with Martin, and um, although I was still writing, um, I, it wasn't as, as so concentrated as uh, as the first period. Mostly written in the summer of um, 1999 in New York. Mm First of all, I have to have to say that being in Depeche Mode and part of the process of making music together over all these years has definitely contributed to the way, the style I write in and um, uh, in some ways I've learned a lot more from Martin and from being in a band and performing the songs for so long. Um, that uh, that's definitely uh, come come about during the making of this album, and I realised that I, I I kind of knew a lot more than I thought I did um, about arranging a song and uh, how I wanted it to feel and what I, what feeling I wanted that song to evoke, you know. Um, but at the same time, there's a, a naivety and a freshness about this that uh, is definitely a new beginning. Something you need from me. Are you having a fun? I think I was very fortunate to have a lot of people around me at that time. Actually, not a lot of people, but a few people that were very important to me. One was Jonathan Kessler, who's a dear friend of mine and um, was loyal to me and desperately tried to help me a lot even though I um, um, really uh, avoided any kind of help at the time um, and um, also my wife now Jennifer at the time she was a really good friend of mine and um, she lived in New York but we would often talk on the phone so she helped me as well a lot, um, just in that she felt like a person that was cared nothing about what I did, but cared about what I was going through, and had had some similar experiences in her life, and I saw that she was living through them. Um, so that really encouraged me, 
but um, I think strength came um, by wanting to change and uh, going through some things that uh, stopped me from growing um, just reaching a point with that where I realized that I had to take the risk to ask for help and sometimes in life I think it's really important to let somebody a friend know that um, you're going through something and that you really don't know what it is and how to how to start but um, that you need some help and uh, over the course of the next few years and after I moved to New York I surrounded myself with people that um, uh, I felt were trying to change their lives and for the better and to contribute something that was you know uh, creative let's say rather than destructive and that really helped as well and putting myself in a situation as well in New York where I didn't really know that many people um, and I had to try hard to make new friends um, to put myself in vulnerable situations where um, I didn't have uh, you know, couldn't rely on, on being Dave Garn from Depeche Mode to help me or to deceive people into thinking that I had it all together because I certainly didn't. And they'd never, they never, they didn't care anyway because the kind of people I surrounded myself with, with were other artists and other musicians that had either been through similar experiences or um, um, were in them. <laughs> and... Um, I found that what really helped me a lot was learning how to help other people uh, and to be there for other people and uh, to listen to them and I got a lot of strength through listening and taking full advantage of um, uh, you know their experiences and realizing that I was not alone at all. Um, but I created this world for myself that was pretty lonely and it was all my doing so but it took a long time you know it takes a long time uh, to dig yourself out of a hole when you've dug one as deep as I did <laughs> <laughs> not really it just it was so it goes along with the same experiences about I just talked about um the, you know, just the atmosphere, everything about New York for me was a challenge. And, um, you know, it's a, a big, vast city that moves really fast. And uh, you kind of, you can't hide away in New York, you know. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, you kind of have to be out and about and on the street and uh, among people. And, you know, that took a while to get used to, but... Um, those experiences definitely helped me to realize that there was so much more for me to um, experience and see in, in the world that, um, that I didn't think was there anymore for me. And, um, you know, I wanted this album to really uh, honestly uh, not only show sides of me that we all know, um, the performer, um, the damaged person, but also this person that's full of faith and hope uh, about the future and about the moment that we all sort of are live in, you know. Um, that it's up to you if you want to do something with it, you know. You can sit and wallow in self-pity for the things you don't have, but you have to really think about the things that you do have and, and learn to be grateful. Um, the, the way we worked was very open and um, that's something that I was really wanting to do. 
I wanted to work with a group of people that um, exchanged ideas and respected each other's ideas and uh, however odd they may have seemed at the time um, that was a real learning experience it's something that I'd been kind of yelling to do and uh, wanting to do in Depeche Mode for a long time but seemed to be struggling to uh, have anybody on my side 